In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first just want to begin by creating a new text layer. So like we would do with any other text effect, we're just gonna go down to the type tool and you can either press this or you can just simply press T on your keyboard because that's the keyboard shortcuts. Select in your program monitor and just type out a word or a phrase of your choice. Then we'll go to the effect controls tab, go to the text layer and we're just going to change the font, change the scale of the font. You can change whether it's left aligned, center aligned, right aligned. You can change the fill, but there's no point because we're going to add a gradient effect onto this. And then you can just move the position. So I'm just going to make sure this is in the center. Great. And then once you're happy with that, you can just exit out of that window and we can go ahead and find the gradient effect. So the best way to do this is to search for the four color gradient effect inside of Premiere. So in effect, we're just going to search for four dash color and it will pop straight up there. We're just going to drop this onto our text layer. And as you can see, we've already got this gradient effect applied, but there's no animation and it's not the prettiest color scheme in the world. So we're just going to go to the very beginning and we're going to select four color gradient positions and colors. And we're just going to go to point one. Now this top left is point one, this top right is point two, and then you won't be able to see point three and point four because they are down here. So we'll just bring those closer in. Now I'm gonna go for a nice blue gradient animating into a nice red gradient. I think that could look really nice. So to begin with, I'm just gonna to go to color one and I gonna select blue. Then I'll go to color two, I'll also go to blue, but I'll make it a lighter blue just to add that contrast there. Then we'll go color three, we'll go for blue, but go for more of a dark blue this time. And then color four can be a nice light blue again as well. This is how that looks. It's a nice soft blue gradient. Now I'm just gonna create a brand new keyframe on point one, color one, point two, color two, point three, color three, point four, color four. And now we're just gonna go two and a half seconds in. So, and I'm just going to move the position of all of these points. So I'm going to move this point across to the right, this point down, this point to the left, and this point up. So if we go back to the beginning, you can see the position of those gradients is now moving and you can see that subtle animation there. But I'm just gonna go back to those keyframes, make sure I'm hovering exactly over where they are. And we're gonna change the colors. So color one is now going to be red. Color two is going to be more of a pink, Color three is going to be a dark red, so more of a maroon. And then color four, we'll also make just a standard red like this. So let's take that back to the beginning and see how this looks. That looks great. Although if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a specific tone of the color pop a little bit more, then you can get that closer to the action. So for example, I can see in this corner, we're not really getting that dramatic dark red in the text so I can just move the position of this closer in so that that color is more intense and same thing with up here that's quite muted but if I pull this closer in we're getting that big pop of color now before I carry on with this effect I just want to go ahead and convert the point keyframes to ease in so if I select point one right click temporal interpolation I can select ease in then I'm just going to do the same to point two point three and point four. So we'll select them, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in. And if I play this back, you'll notice the animation looks a lot softer. Rather than suddenly stopping when it hits the keyframe, it's going to ease into that point. Before we carry on with this video, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the Brooker Films Video Creator Academy. This is a new learning platform where you can learn how to create amazing videos. There are masterclasses that are aimed towards lighting, cinematography, sound work, how to edit videos in Adobe Premiere, how to use Adobe After Effects, how to become a YouTuber, and so much more. There is currently over 20 hours worth of video content available to you over there. So if you like what you see over here on the Brooker Films YouTube channel, then do consider checking out the BF Video Creator Academy because you'll find content like this, but taken to the next level. And as a special thank you for your support, if you use the code YouTube60, then you can get 6% off the all access plan. So that is BFVideoCreatorAcademy.com. The link is in the description below. Now, 
back to the video. But now I'm just going to copy all of those keyframes. We'll go Command C if you're on Mac or Control C if you're on Windows. We'll move over another two and a half seconds. So that should take us to five and we'll just paste. So Command V or Control V. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll copy all of those, move over another half, two and a half seconds and paste that in. And now when we play this back, you can see we've got this looping color gradient text animation. Of course, though, you don't just have to have it looping between two colors. If I just go ahead and delete those keyframes that we just pasted in. So we've only got our first set of keyframes and our second set of keyframes. If I now go to five seconds, I can carry that on around. So I'm going to take this point down. So we're going to carry on that action. So this can come down. This point can go to the left. This point can go up and this point can go right. So we're continuing that movement around the clock. And we'll go for a different color this time. So let's go for some greens. So again, just push these towards all the greens. Make sure you've got a variety of lighter colors and darker colors. That's really going to give you that contrast. And that's how you're going to see that gradient effect. There you go. That looks great. Although I think I might make the bottom left color. I think that's color two. I'm going to make that more of a yellow just to add some contrast in. There you go. That looks great. Now when we play this back, you will see that animation is just going to keep looping through different colors. And you can keep doing this process over and over again. Or alternatively, if you're happy with that selection, then you can just copy and paste the keyframes in just so it loops round and round. And it will just keep creating this ever never ending looping effect. And of course, as well, the great thing is because you've applied an effect to a text layer, if you decided you didn't want a big BF in the middle and you wanted this to loop over something else, so maybe over Brooker, you can see even though I changed the text, the effect is still applied and the effect is still working how it should. So if I take this back to the beginning, you can still see we've got the blue into the red into the green. And there you go. That is how you create this really awesome looping color gradient text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and I really do hope this video helped you to learn something new. So thank you again for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.